So it's exam day. You've prepared really hard. You've learned all of your key enzymes, remembered all of your important terminology, how homeostasis works. You know all the important diagrams, they're all down pat. But the aspect of actually sitting the exam is a whole other matter. And it's really important that you go into the exam with a clear strategy in mind so that you have time to really maximize your marks. So today I'm gonna to be telling you my top tricks for how to approach the HSC biology exam, focusing on the multiple choice, short response, and long answer questions. So firstly, multiple choice. Because you only get about 20 marks in this section, I really recommend trying to smash it out as quickly as you can. Go through and try to answer everything as fully as possible, but make sure that if you don't really understand something, don't dwell on it too much. Put a star next to it and come back at the end. My key to acing multiple choice is to always try and eliminate all of the possibilities so that you can be really sure that the answer you've selected is the right one. So I would spend that extra time going through and thinking, why is A incorrect, why is C incorrect? So that you can really confidently say that B is the right answer. Secondly, short response questions. My top tip is to pay attention to the mark allocations. If you're only going to get three marks for that question, you should only be spending maybe like six, seven minutes on it. You wanna be saving your time for the longer response questions where it's actually harder to get marks. When you're looking at those mark allocations, you should be thinking in terms of how many sentences. So one mark is approximately two sentences or two lines, two key ideas. My next tip is to make sure that you define all of the key terms in the questions. If you see something like genetic technologies or evolution, make sure that you define what those terms mean so that you're not unnecessarily losing marks. Finally, longer response questions. So these are the ones where the markers are going to be trying to differentiate between higher and lower band students. So it's important to really prepare for these clearly. Make sure before you start writing your long response questions that you spend a couple of minutes planning. This can make all the difference because if your ideas are thought through and they flow logically, you get those extra marks for structure. So I always spend a couple of minutes circling the important terms and underlying the key ideas and making sure that I address each of these in my response. The next thing you need to make sure to do is to include sufficient detail. So for example, in a seven mark question, you need to include at least three examples. Or if the question asks for specifically two genetic technologies, you need to make sure to name them and define them. So these are my top tips for the HSC biology exam. I hope that you guys really pay attention to these and implement these when you're doing your practice papers so that you have the best chance at maximizing your marks for the final. Good luck. <laughs>